Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Intel Core i3 4150 Haswell Refresh CPU. This is, at the time of this video, the smallest Core i3 processor of the lineup. But without further ado, here are the specifications. The Intel Core i3-4150 is a dual-core Haswell refresh CPU that goes into the LJ1150 socket just like the Haswell and Devil's Canyon CPUs. This CPU has two cores and four threads, thanks to hyper-threading. The base clock is 3.5 GHz, there's no turbo boost available here. The Intel HD graphics 4400 iGPU is used here and the TDP is very low, 54 watts only. The 22 nanometer process is featured here of course, and we have 512 kilobytes of level 2 cache and 3 megabytes of level 3 cache. This processor supports dual channel DDR3-1600 memory natively. Here are the benchmark results. The Intel i3-4150 has pretty good performance to offer for its price. The i3 does very well when it comes to video rendering, but when it comes to 3D rendering and all that stuff, as well as video encoding, the AMD FX6300 and FX6350 CPUs do much better. Gaming wise it's pretty much a tie. There are games out there where the FX CPUs perform better than the i3 and vice versa. However, the performance difference isn't that big, but overall I'd say the FX6300 and 6350 processors are the winners in gaming. But of course there are moments, such as in Crisis 3 for example, where you really notice you have a dual core. Real powerful quad cores perform much better as you saw. The power consumption is a bit on the higher side when comparing against the smallest core i5 processor, the i5-4460, but it seems like the lower end CPUs from Intel just aren't as efficient as the bigger ones. But yeah, the Intel i3-4150 is not a bad choice for a budget gaming build, however the competition is a bit cheaper and has unlocked multipliers for unlimited overclocking, whereas with this i3 your performance is locked, you can't do anything about it. Still, I'd definitely recommend the Intel Core i3-4150 for those that can't spend that much money on the CPU and don't want to go the AMD way. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.